Hello, let us continue our discussion on the story of Pentheus as it was found in Ovid's Metamorphosis. In my last lecture, we have found that uh, Aquatis was asked by Pentheus about his name, his parentage and the reason why he, he considers himself to be the follower of Bacchus or Liber. Now, let us begin with the, with the reply that he gives. He replied, that is, it is actually referring to Aquatis. He replied, my name is Aquatis. I was born in Lydia. So, you can identify the name and also the place from where he is coming. And my parents were of humble stock. So, ultimately you will find that the particular reference of Aquatis in this particular text, it is indicating that the text is not mainly focusing on the upper strata of society. Rather, you will find that Aquatis is coming from the lower one. And therefore, you can find that Liber is not to be associated with the upper caste or upper part of the society too. Because here, Aquatis is his chief priest. So, he says, therefore, my name is Aquatis. I was born in Lydia and my parents were of humble stock. My father did not leave me any fields for study bullocks to till. So ultimately, now when his father died, he finds that there is nothing left for him. He didn't have any bullock carts or bullocks to till the earth or so, nor any woolly flocks or herds. So ultimately, the different kinds of professions that were very common during these days, okay, that is farming, or maybe these have been associated with the, the shepherdry. So all these were completely missing. These were not possible for him that he describes here. He was a poor man, that is his father, and I am as I am, and he used to catch fish with hook and line. So ultimately from here you can identify what is the family profession of this aquatis. So fundamentally what we actually consider regarding the regarding the, the particularization or maybe the division of a particular society and we find that so far as in, in the present scenario as you can see in India or maybe in other parts where the upper strata of society is being associated okay with with you know priesthood and something like that but here you will find that Aquatis who is the follower who is the chief priest of Liber he is coming from the lower strata of society number one and he was associated with the profession of fishing that is being pointed out here. He was a fisherman. So he says therefore, he was a poor man as I am and he used to catch fish with hook and line. With his rod he drew them, leaping from the stream. His fisherman's skill was all his wealth. That means he was not a wealthy person but ultimately he was a skilled person, right? So, this he passed on to me, saying, so it was the, the words of his father. He says, take such riches as I have, be my successor and heir to my craft. So, ultimately, these are the riches that I do have and I am giving that particular knowledge. I am giving that particular skill to you, be my successor in my activities and be my heir to my craft, to my profession. So he died, leaving me nothing but the waters. So ultimately it is something uh, mocking way, in a mocking way that it has been described. So he died, leaving me nothing but the waters. These alone can I call my inheritance. But I did not wish to spend the rest of my life on those selfsame rocks. So ultimately I was inherited by all these things, you see. But I don't know, I don't want to live in this particular form, it says. But I did not wish to spend the rest of my life on those selfs and rocks. So I soon learned to put my hand to a ship's rudder. That means I don't want to continue this particular uh, profession that is the family business, a family profession. And I took part in, you know, uh, in the ship's rudder. That actually indicates that I become a sailor. Okay. And... I marked well the rainy constellation of the Olenian goat, Taget and Hyads and the beers. 
So ultimately here you can find these are important for your two marks question because here you will find the Olenian goat, Teget, Hyades, Hyades and the Bears. So these are referring to the constellations. Okay. So these are the four constellations that were considered during that time that when it appears on, on, on the sky, it indicates that the heavy rain is coming to fall. You see? So therefore, you know, that at that particular time, there was no particular navigational tool. There was no, uh, you know, satellite imagery and the, the, the particularizations of these things. So therefore, it says, when this is a matter with a sailor, you see, a sailor had to learn all these activities. So it continues in this particular fashion that I also marked well the rainy constellation of the Olenian goat and take it and or take it and the Hyades and the, the beers and made myself familiar with the homes of the winds and harbors fit for ships. So I in short I learned all the activities that may suit a say sailor. Okay. So it happened that as I was making for Delos, Delos is a port and Delos is a place. Uh, when I was preparing for Delos, I put in to the shores of Caius. So these are some kind of details that have been given in this particular reference. The oarsmen, that means the persons who were there, they rowed easily to the beach. I leaped lightly from the boat and landed on the moist sand and there we spent the night. So ultimately, here you will find that Aquatis is giving a particular description or a particular description has been made. It's a kind of a narrative that he is making here regarding his first meeting with Liber. Okay, so this has been pointed out in the next paragraphs, you see. So therefore, it says that it happened that I was making for Delos. So we are preparing for Delos. And I put it on the shores of Caius, the oarsman, that means the, the persons who were uh, taking the oar and moving the ship. So the oarsman rode easily to the beach and I, ultimately I come to the beach. I leaped lightly from the boat and landed on the moist sand. There we spent the night. So ultimately it's a description of a single day. When the first flash of dawn appeared, that means after that very night, when the morning comes, when the first flash of dawn appeared, I rose and showed my comrades the way that led to a spring. So it was a spring and the, the sweet water that was there. And ultimately I showed them, the comrades means the fellow persons who were along with me. And ultimately I helped them the, to find the way and I led to a spring, telling them to fetch fresh water. You see, I myself climbed a high hill to see what the breeze promised. You know, when you are setting sail for a journey, then you must know something about the breezes. You must know something that what is happening next, you see. Because as I mentioned, there was no satellite, you know, tools along with you at the time. So I myself climbed a high hill to see what the breeze promised. Then I called my men and made my way back to the ship and then some names have been given you have to remember these names okay because these names are very important for you for objective questions opheltis was the first of my friends to return that means they were there they went there they went uh, there to bring some fresh water the first person who actually returned he was opheltis so opheltis was the first of my friends to return and here we are, he cried and came along the shore, bringing with him a boy. So that is fundamentally very significant because in, the, in a few moments, we will find that this boy is actually Liber, you see. So Opheltis was the first of my friends to return. Here we are, he cried and came along the shore, bringing with him a boy. And what was the outlook of that boy? As pretty as a girl, you see. He had found him alone in a field, okay, and had taken possession of this prize as he thought. Why? Because at the time it might be possible the slavery, okay, and uh, selling humans in the market was not very uh, unacceptable, you see. So ultimately, 
he considered that he had found him alone in a field and had taken possession of this prize as he thought. The boy was drowsy. Why the drowsiness is being associated? Because you find that Bacchus was the god of wine. So therefore, if the god is associated with wine, then each and every moment you will find that somehow the drowsiness has to be related with the god himself also. So here it says the boy was drowsy with sleep and wine and seemed to stumble, you see, when he walks and was scarcely able to follow. I looked at his clothes, at his features and his bearing, okay, and saw that everything indicated him to be more than mortal. That is very significant. Aquatis says that when I looked at his clothes, at his all features and his bearing, that is the, the their habits or habituations and so, and saw that everything indicated him to be more than mortal. That is, I do not consider at the time that this person is a simple mortal man or mortal human being. So therefore it says, I looked at his clothes, at his features and his bearing and saw that everything indicated him uh, to be more than mortal. When I realized this, I said to my companions, what God is within that body? So ultimately, you will find that Aquites had more than human understanding, you see. He had the foreknowledge of everything so far. So I said to my companions, what God is within that body? I cannot tell. But a God there is. I pray you, whoever you are, be gracious and assist our labors. Grant pardon to, to these your captors. So ultimately, Aquatis could feel that there is some problem, you see. So therefore, he says, what God is within that body, I cannot tell. But a God there is. I pray to you, O God, whoever you are, be gracious and assist our labors. Grant pardon to, to these your captors, the persons who are actually captiving you. Okay. So what Aquatis does, okay, we, we find it in our next lecture. Stay attached. Thank you.